After a stroke nearly 20 years ago, Canadian Ann Johnson lost her ability to speak. What do you think of my artificial voice? It's the first time since her stroke she's able to use her voice to have a conversation with her husband. Hey Ann, how's it going? It is good to see you. We might need to test it a little bit. Researchers from the University of California, San Francisco and Berkeley developed a device and AI technology that allowed Anne's brain signals to be decoded into written and verbal speech. You are truly wonderful people. Using Anne's wedding video, they also were able to pair her voice to an avatar that exhibited her facial expressions. It was really exciting to see how quickly she was being able to get the computer to understand what she was trying to say. Surgeons implanted a device into Anne's head that interprets brain signals. By attempting to say words, Anne trained the system to recognize the signals that control the muscles involved in speech. They found the technology decoded up to 78 words per minute and reached a vocabulary of 1,000 words. 1,000 words gets us really, really close to the amount of words that most people use in their everyday life. A new study from the University of Stanford used similar technology on a patient with ALS. This doctor says the new developments could be life-altering. You can imagine how long it would take to spell out a sentence with your eyes letter by letter. But a brain-computer interface where a word can just appear by thinking about it, that would significantly impact patients' quality of life. Thanks for stopping by. Researchers say they are testing safety and it working to improve the technology to be more involved. accurate, but say they are optimistic. Medical devices that can help patients like Anne regain speech will become a reality. Tashana Reed, CBC News, Toronto.